my boyfriend assumed I was into rough love making because of my race and now I feel unsure about us. My boyfriend and I was going to make love with each other, it was supposed to be my first time but not his. Things started off normal, kissing, then he started pushing me on the bed and holding me down, no foreplay or anything. I was obviously shocked and scared because I didn't expect that. I was screaming stop and no and he stopped. He looked confused and asked what was wrong. I told him like WTF, I thought we were gonna go slow. He was still giving me a confused looks and at that point, I was annoyed. I reminded him I was a virgin so I would prefer to take things slow. He said he knows that but he thought I'd like it rough. He also told me he's never been with a black girl before and he thought black girls like it rough. I was mad and I said no, I'm not okay with rough intimacy and I was mad he used a stereotype on me. I didn't want to make love anymore and I asked if he could just leave me alone so he left. I'm just so confused like how is this even real? I've never even heard of that as a stereotype. I don't know if it's a corn thing or not, I don't watch corn, just not into it, but even if that's a thing, I'm mad he just assumed things about me. He knows I'm a virgin but he still was rough with me. I'm unsure now because I don't know what else stereotypes he has about me BC I'm black. <coughs> Edit, he's blowing up my phone asking me if we can talk about things and saying sorry. I feel bad for not responding but I keep thinking what else he thinks about me. I feel empty inside because he turned into another person when he got rough. He went from sweet to cold and scary. I think once I'm calm, I will talk to him. Okay last update cause I can't make a new post and this is getting really cluttered with replies. So we <laughs> talked for a while. I'm done with him. I read the comments mm. and I decided to hear him out. I gave him the benefit of the doubt that he didn't mean to hurt me. He told me he thought black girls like it rough BC his friend's girlfriend like that, she's black, and the p he watches. I tried explaining how that's racist to think that and consent. He said he was sorry for rushing into it but he was raised in a racist community so give him a break. I tried explaining that's not an excuse to act out his fetishes on me especially without asking. He got mad at me and I was too. We argued and then I broke up with him. I am really upset right now, I thought he loved me but I guess not. All I wanted was to share a special moment with him and he ruined it. I told my friend and she said to give him another chance but I disagree. What he did was too weird and creepy for me to forgive him. Anyways thanks for all the advice, I should have just broke up with him immediately but oh well too late now. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Simon. In today's video, we're going to rate this story via my little checklist I've created recently. Is it healthy, happy, and are they being kind? So already there's like a controversial topic. We're feeling a little uncomfortable. Anytime race comes into it, it is a little sussy automatically or just uncomfortable for a lot of people. I want to go ahead and start from the beginning. I've got my list of notes here that I made while I, while I was listening. So she said no, and he stopped. Right off the bat, we have a at least consent. At least he's hearing the boundaries. At least she's making her voice heard. At least he's listening, right? So at least he can listen a little bit. That's pretty good. He looked confused. So we've got an ignorant white boy trying to date a black girl, and that already is going to create a little tension. When you mix those two bubbles together, it's going to be hard to have a cohesive way of making uncomfortable situations a little, a little bit more comfortable if there's a lot of naivety mixed in. Even later in the video, he said, give me a break. I was raised in a racist community. To some extent, that might be true. Should we give people opportunities to learn when they're raised in bubbles that don't teach them the proper information? Maybe, but is it her job to teach him? This couple sounds young. I wasn't given an age. Did you guys hear an age? I didn't hear an age. But if they're virginal and young and they're speaking the way they are, I'm going to assume they're anywhere from maybe 16 to 21. He did the thing that I think hurts most people, which is not seeing his his girlfriend in society right now with all the dating problems people will say i'm having a hard time meeting people i'm having a hard time even making friends but what you're having a hard time doing is having people see you you're having a hard time meeting people who will see you it's why you can feel lonely in a marriage so here's a girl who's alone in her relationship he is not on her team though he thinks he's doing his best or at least is on her team to the extent he can be and that's kind of factually true he is kind of doing his best it's just not good enough and i don't think it should be good enough look let's be honest this was never there forever Okay, like they were never going to be the couple that st like stood the test of time. This was a life lesson. And the life lesson here is to have conversations about race relations slash kink slash being seen before maybe intimacy or maybe during, right? In this case, they had to have it during and after. Now, if they had a few more tools, if they were a little bit older, if they had a little bit more wisdom, they could have preemptively had these conversations, right? As a part of the vetting process. But they're young, so they probably don't even know how to vet 
right? That is a tool you pick up along the way. So I'm gonna give them a point for healthiness in terms of communicating the initial consent violation. She was feeling uncomfortable, he stopped. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of a point there. Now the health point does decline as it goes on because he wants more of a, of a leniency towards his bad behavior rather than admitting I did something wrong. He gets defensive and leads to an unhappiness in the relationship. If he had come to her after she initially gave him, you know, permission to talk to her and it said, I am so sorry. I did this and it was never supposed to be this way. I never meant to hurt you this way. I think it would have continued to be a healthy situation and they would have remained happy. But instead he doubled down and said, I was raised in a racist bubble. What am I supposed to do? Woe is me. What am I supposed to do as the white boy, right? Which wasn't very kind. So they kind of lose the point for almost the healthiness because the half point doesn't get them to a full point. They can't end up being happy together because he's not willing to actually self-reflect. And then in turn, they're not being kind to one another. He is not being kind in the situation. And she wasn't being kind to herself, right? Because I think think for you know correct me if I'm wrong I think sometimes when we get into relationships if look if you're an ethnicity that is targeted if you are a minority that's targeted if you're gay or queer or trans sometimes when we get into relationships with the quote-unquote like cis straights we have a tendency to ignore the possibility that we could be dating the stereotype because the stereotype is dating us and so there is a stereotype of the majority dating the minority and looking like they can handle the nuances of that situation, but then they can't. And so instead of confronting and making sure and confirming because we're afraid of a breakup, we wait until this kind of a moment. And I'm not saying anyone's at fault. This is, again, a life lesson. We're picking up tools. So personally, as I'm hearing this story, I was kind of shook when I first heard it, right? I've heard it multiple times now. I've meditated on it. I tried to think of the situation. I really wish there was better communication tools because right now someone is being raised in an environment, in a bubble, in which they're not going to be taught about black girl problems. And they're not going to be taught to be sensitive or at least aware of the nuances. They're also, no matter what race you are, are, are not going to be taught how to see a person. In this situation, this goes beyond race. We don't even know how to see our partners anymore. We delude even our lovers and our partners down to stereotypes. He thought she was like other black girls because she was black. He saw something maybe in porn and thought, oh yes, this is how my girlfriend, my literal girlfriend, the consciousness that is my girlfriend, wants to be made love to, wants to make love to, wants to. This is what he thought. He never thought for a moment, I should just ask. Maybe I should ask, but then boys are raised sometimes in an environment where they're supposed to be re like mind readers, where they're supposed to know right away how to please a woman, how to please a girl, how to have relationships with them, how to be this perfect Prince Charming, and that's not fair to the men either. So there's just a lot of naivety happening here, a lot of innocence, if you will. So overall, this couple does not pass the healthy, happy, or kind test, but I know they can be better, and I know that you watching, if you're especially if you're young, could take this story and think to myself, how do I not become this couple? How do I not do this to myself? How do I not do this to my partner? You have to see the consciousness for who they are. I didn't just marry my partner because he was a man or because he was alive, right? I'm marrying my partner because of who he literally is. And then I'm getting to know him slowly, even more so. Over the next 30, 40, 50 years, I'll know more parts of him. I'll understand different, deeper parts of him. Because we will never stop asking each other questions. And he'll do the same for me. But in couples like this, and a lot of couples I see who are settling out here, they stop asking questions or they never started in the first place. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys are interested in furthering this conversation or discussion, join our Discord. I'm sure we'll talk about it there. You can join via Patreon. All right, I'll talk to you guys then. Bye. So why's my life a mess? Please tell me Cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool da, 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 da.